lot of people are talking about oversupply and they're right. Prices are high and they're right. Demand will correct and they're right. From 60, 1960 to 2024, the population growth of Dubai is about 15,000%. When you look at the world wanting to come and live in Dubai compared to a lot of the other cities or countries in the world, Winter is coming. Ooh, the market's gonna get a correction. There's oversupply potential. Hey guys, welcome back. If you're looking to purchase a valuable property in the Dubai market, there's a link below. You can click it, fill up the form. Let's talk. You can sign up on our VIP program. Remember to hit the like, subscribe, and bell icon. Show some love in the comment section. Check this out, right? So there's a lot of pundits out there experts and some are genuine experts they've been in the market 20 years and some of them are not experts they've been in the market like two years five years and some of them have their own agendas right i want to give you a little bit of a different angle so a lot of people are talking about oversupply okay and they're right prices are high and they're right Demand will correct. And they're right. Okay. Now, every argument that these people give, there's always four or five counter arguments, right? For instance, if you say that there's oversupply in the market, then I'll ask you, okay, what happened previously when there was oversupply in the market? We've got 2008 as a reference point. We've got 2014 or 15 as a reference point. What truly happened? Well, the supply got absorbed in the market because Dubai's population growth is at about a few hundred percent every decade, okay? From 1960 to 2024, the population growth of Dubai is about 15,000%. Dubai is within a four-hour flying distance of four billion people, and the United Arab Emirates and the GCC continue to attract people to come and live over here. I can give you arguments all day long, and I'm not saying you're wrong. You are also right, but what's happened in the past, supply gets absorbed, okay? That's the general way things go in Dubai. Prices are high. Yes, prices per square foot are high. The reality of the situation is that if you look at the top 10 cities in the world, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. If you look at the top 10 cities in the world and how much you can buy for a million dollars of prime real estate, Dubai used to be here. This was Dubai, okay? And on this side, we had, let's say, Monaco or Hong Kong or London. I don't remember, right? So prices are high. Yes, they are higher. They're higher than what the past was. But you know where Dubai is? Dubai is at number four right now. So they've moved up to number four. Still a long way to go. When you look at the world wanting to come and live in Dubai compared to a lot of the other cities or countries in the world? You, I think you know the answer, right? Okay, cool. Demand might correct. Okay, fine. Demand might correct. And then supply might correct. Tell me one market that operates in an absolute equilibrium. I'll tell you. It's from my book called Economics 101 from grade 8, where my teacher, Mrs. Kaku, my economics teacher, was teaching us about Demand and supply, and this point right here being called the equilibrium. There is no such thing. We're always working towards equilibrium. So either the supply goes high or the demand goes high. And now I want to share with you a simple way of understanding things. Look, this is normal in the real estate market, and it's been normal for the last 100 years or more. It goes up, it comes down. The absolute worst situations are absolute crashes, which is what we saw in 2008. We haven't seen an absolute crash since 2008 for XYZ reasons. Will another future crash happen? I don't know. Potentially. Will the dollar just be wiped off the face of earth? I don't know. Will Bitcoin replace everything? I don't know. But at the end of the day, if you're buying value, you got to remember that the real estate market, like life, goes through seasons, okay? So you've got winter, You've got spring, you've got summer, you've got fall, 
and then winter. And it's very normal that this is the pattern that goes. In the long run, just like yourself in life, you go through winters, but if winter comes, spring is not far. If spring comes, summer is very close. And then if summer comes, fall comes around as well. Things kind of take care of themselves. Real estate market is nothing different. If you're coming into a real estate market thinking that you're going to hit a jackpot, no. I've already talked about this in many of my videos. Go to a run, go run a business. You might be the next guy who discovers or invents Google or Facebook or Uber or Airbnb. When it comes to real estate, no. steady goes to ship. Relax, chill, invest in value assets. Know that winters come and springs come. Know that things auto correct and relax. Don't overburden yourself. There is a link below if you'd like to actually buy a property in the Dubai market and have experts advise you, like me and my team, hopefully. Click the link, fill up the form. Let's talk. Remember to hit the like, subscribe, and bell icon. Show some love in the comment section. Ciao for now. Hey guys, thank you for watching the video. I hope you liked it. My name is Fad Daud. I've been doing this for 15 plus years. I started in uh, Toronto, Canada in 2006. And since 2007, I've been based in Dubai and doing real estate in Dubai. Look. If you're looking to work with me, there's a form below and my mobile number. I do paid consulting. You can also uh, get help for uh, from my team for services. If you like the video, press the like button, press the subscribe and the bell icon and share it with uh, your friends who you feel would be able to benefit from the content of this video. Last but not the least, I'll repeat, me and my team's role is always going to be to help and select the best property for you. Your role will be to invest in that property and we will in turn invest in your life and your future. Bye for now.